Yeah, I know I've been away for a long time, not uploading anything, but I've just been doing a whole lot of other stuff and my interests have changed since my last video, but this was pretty much what I've been working on in my spare time. It's just like a full cosplay of being a Ghostbuster. You can see I have the a proton pack. An Alice frame, a ghost trap, uh, the ecto goggles, and a kind of acrid uniform. But here's like a close up of the uniform. Um, I got the the flight jacket off of GBFans.com, where you can get most of this hatch work and other props that you would need. But but the fly suit was cost me seventy dollars if estimate. And you can get like a actually screen accurate one with the right fabric and all that stuff for like three hundred dollars on some other third party websites, but who's got the money for that? See this uniform and they freak out and say this is really legit, so they don't know. If you can't convince them it works for me. But over here is like the no ghost patch from nineteen eighty four, the original movie style. And here I have a it's like a Valkyrie where you can put name patches. I have Zedmore on right now. Just cause but I have my own constant name. Over here is the Atlanta Ghostbusters that I kind of joined. And that's their official patch so that's kind of cool. And down here. have like. Other badges that I collected. A security card for the Zedmore Industries. That was in Frozen Empire. With our logo on there. So that was kind of cool. That's someone custom made for everybody in our group have the utility belt right here with the arm patches that I got on another third party with uh, the belt and the ear and hose and it's already the correct color that you needs to be to hold that and you can hold all sorts of ghost traps and PKE meters and stuff but I don't have a holster for my ghost trap that's why that's not on there and here's just like a close up of the PKE meter. Standard one. This is from the Halloween costumes. And as you can see how it works. But yeah. And over here, I have just like my temporary ghost trap until I get the. Hasbro one that's going to come out in like November. This version that I have here is just like the Regal Trap popcorn bucket that they sell for Frozen Empire. They're, it's pretty much the same size as all the uh, other replicas ghost traps that are currently out there. So that's why I went with that. And these are some Spirit Ecto goggles which are pretty cool. I would love to mod them out to make them more official looking. I've seen other people in our group and on Facebook do that, but until there's like a good solid kit that doesn't require 3D printing, I might wait for that. Here's the Proton Pack, and this one that I have is a Spirit Life Size Pack, which is like the affordable um, Proton Pack that out right now and there's a lot of multiple versions there's like 3d printed ones that you can have or there's the Haslab one that has for a release like afterlife came out but that was a limited run but this is just like what the um spirit pack kind of does it's just constantly light stay on but i'm there's a whole lot of things i want to do to this pack before I say it's done, like I want to be able to have a constant hum, I want to change out this ribbon cable and probably replace this part with a silk metal one. And there's like other small details that need to be done, replace decals, like I might want to get it to be able to vent and smoke and all that fun stuff but I've already attached the 1984 Spangler one that Haslab made recently and 
it's pretty accurate as is. I already replaced the V hook. Which is pretty cool. There's little things you can like have a keep on and not shut off. And like my next update is I'm gonna attach this Alice frame I have here to the pack. So stay tuned for that and updates and thanks for watching.